so this is a short video because I'm going to make one of these. Now, some of you will know what this is and some of you won't. Now, what it is, this is the rear wing. And this clip holds a coach bolt in that slot. So that is just a standard co coach bolt and I, I managed to get some stainless steel ones. And it just goes in there like that and that clip slides over it and it still allows it to move side to side so you can see why the, these old cars rust because that is a, a very bad rush trap and if I do fit these clips I'm going to put loads of under seal or something around here um, so I've made the tooling and so now I'm just going to make another one I've made a few already so I'm just going to make another one for camera. I'm Steve and welcome to my channel. I got this spring steel on eBay. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the right width. It should, this is an inch wide um, and this is a, little, a bit over. So I, I need to cut it down. So this is my first attempt. So I'm going to use this as the pattern to cut this out. Um, and so this is the tooling I've used and it will, all, it will clamp on here to do different things. That's done. I just need to squash that. I need to squash that in there. So, as you just saw, this bends quite easily, just like ordinary steel, but this is spring steel. 
and it's got a higher content of carbon in it. So you can buy two types of spring steel. You can buy annealed or hardened. Obviously hardened spring steel comes blue and it, it, it is springy, whereas this doesn't spring back. So now I'm gonna heat treat this to make it into a spring. So that's hardened it. Now, if I just left it like that, it'd be no good because as soon as you put it on, it would snap because it's hard, too hard. So now I have to clean it up to bright metal again. Well, I have to clean it up to bright metal again and um, heat it to blue or straw um, but I'm, I'm doing them to blue and that takes the hardness out of it and it becomes springy. It is springy now, but if you flexed it, it will, um, it will break. So this one here, when I was cleaning it up, it was so brittle that I broke it just by cleaning it. So this process I'm just going to do now is called tempering. And tempering means it takes the hardness off. And there is another term when you're hardening steel. Sometimes people say it needs to be let down. So what that means is softened, basically. So you just get, if, you, if I got it red hot again, and then just let it cool down gradually or very slowly, that has the effect of soft, softening it again. So this is one I did the other day and you can see the difference between blue and straw. So this is what most springs are, are tempered to, which is a blue colour. Um, but if you're, if you're tempering a thicker material like gauge plate, um, they always say, do it, heat it to straw, which is this straw colour and then quench it. And sometimes it, quench it in oil as well it depends on the material so I'm gonna try to get it that color all the way over it won't be but I'll try to I'll get it near I don't know how this is gonna come out on camera but I can only try just starting on the edges so to do this properly it should be in an oven and then it becomes even all the way over but I haven't got an oven so I'm doing it I'm doing this this side is not so critical it's these two legs here that need to be tempered more that's looking good and then it goes and that's done that's come out nice that one that's quite good see if we can get that better shot of that and it's not it's not hot as soon as you put it in the water it cools it so that's it that's job done it could be a little bit closed closed in a bit more but i still think that it's going to grip so i think what i do now is i'll let i actually try it on the panel so that goes in like that That's it. So then that can slide. Oh, it's very tight, that isn't it? It's very tight, but that can slide along there. So you you've got that much movement, and those little nicks stop stop the uh, spring from vibrating off. 
and they will because that is really tight so another job done so if I do use these you know I could weld these slots up and then blaze a bolt on there or something or somehow um, but if I do decide to do this oh I was going to show the other side blah 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 but if I do decide to use this and I probably will actually I need some really good hard paint or something to put on the clip and put on the panel before I fit it does anyone know what's the best paint to use or under seal to use to so if this is going to get wet and there's going to be water in between here you know I need some sort of a paint that will stop the corrosion so I've just put both of them in and uh, that's ready to go on the car I'm not going to put it on the car because I've got a hole here that needs to be welded before um, and painted on, on the inside so this it makes you wonder why Ford went to all this trouble making this clip and putting the coach, coach bolts in when they could have put a captive nut here or, or cage nut here sure you could get one that go in there I, I got a theory that maybe the guys in the factory uh, when they picked the bolts up they picked a long one so it, when they did the bolts up it would dent the actual outside of the wing and they ended up scrapping loads of wings um, that's just my theory I don't know if the early ones have got this arrangement um, because mine was made in 1956 and it's one of the last to be made um, so yeah if you've got an early one and you know the answer to that question does your early wing have a cage nut in it it'd be interesting the interesting thing to do and if you like my videos please don't forget to click the thumbs up and if you want to see more subscribe to my channel and you'll get a notification when I put a video up so thank you for watching and hope to see you next time